guys, welcome back. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com and in this tutorial we are going to start implementing our Einstein next best action tool. So for all the account records, we want to display a recommendation. And whenever a user accepts the recommendation, a form should be displayed to them and an email should be sent to our shipping department once the form has been submitted by the user. So the first action that we are going to do is this step number one here. This is the one and which says create an action flow that executes when the gift basket recommendation is accepted. So assume the recommendation is accepted. What do you want to do next? That is the action that we need to first create. So the first thing is we are going over to our flow here and uh, we will go to the flow and we will create a screen flow first. So we'll go over here and we'll click on new flow and what type of flow that I'm creating? I am creating a screen flow. It's going to be a screen flow here. Hit the create and then what you have here is plus we are going to add a screen here and let's say the label is capture recipient information. That's the API name and we will deploy a name component here to capture the user's first name and the last name. And the other one is address to capture the user's address, basically city, state, zip code, etc. So the name is recipient name. And then here is the recipient address and then done. So this is our screen. Now, once the user submits the information on the screen, we want to send an email and how the email should look like. Basically, first thing is we'll create the email body. Okay, so here I'm going to create a new resource here. I'll change it to free form and I'll create a new resource. And what is the type of the resource? It is a text template. Okay, basically the tech template for our email. And here we'll say email body. And uh, what are we gonna say in this email? We'll say, thank you for accepting. No, actually this is something we are sending it to our department, right? We have a new order for the gift basket please send to the following account, okay? Or to the following individual. Let's say this is our email and I'm going to bold it here and the name is, name is where it is whatever the user has entered in this field, recipient name, first name, give some space and then the recipient last name, which is this one. So this is the name of the recipient and then what is the address and we have captured that address in this field called recipient address here. So the first thing is we will display the street. Then the next thing is we will display, uh, we will display the city here. Recipient address and then we'll display the city and then we have is the state and the zip code. Okay. So here it's going to be recipient address again. And then with this time we will display the state. And then the fourth thing we will display is the zip code, which is the postal code. So this is the information of the recipient here. So this is the email that we are sending. Okay, so this is just a variable that I've created and the type of the variable is a text template. And what I have is this is my email that it look like. So now what we need to do is we need to create an action of sending email. It's the basic flow. I have a flow course. If you love my teaching style, I will definitely recommend you to check out the Salesforce lightning flows course. I have covered all types of flows in that particular course. So do check it out. It is available on YouTube, on my website, everywhere. So do check out that course. So you have screen. Now the next thing is we are going to drop the action here. And what type of action we want to do? We want to send an email. So that is the action. Send email to the customer and to the shipping department, let's say. Okay. This is the name of what we are sending. Now, what should be the body of the email? So the body is basically that variable that we just created, which is nothing but your 
this is the email body is the name of the variable that we created which has the whole text template right so that is the body the recipient address list who should be receiving these emails so we are going to provide a comma separated list here so the first thing is i'll put it under my email gmail.com and then i'll comma again and then i'm going to send it to info at my tutorial rack.com my other email and then let's assume the shipping companies or shipping department email is shipping at my tutorial rack.com this email is not valid but just in case just to give you an idea we are sending the emails to three particular email addresses and then here we have if you want to add a sender email address you can do that does this email should have a rich text body yes so i'm going to go ahead and say true here that is what we're going to set up and then do you want to use line breaks what should be the subject of the email we send beautiful gift basket okay to the address that's the subject of the email and hit done so now we have a email also sent this is our flow here so first thing is it captures the information of the recipient the recipient will say the name it will provide the address and then using these fields we are sending an email to our customer as well as to our shipping department all is done here we will go ahead and hit the save and we'll say send gift basket okay and that is the flow name hit save and we will activate this flow so step number one that we had we just finished it create an action flow that executes when the gift basket recommendation is accepted so we created that flow now the next step here is to create a recommendation that specifies how to present the gift basket offer so now what we will do is we have to create a recommendation here so there is an object in salesforce called recommendation okay so we'll go over to this recommendation object and here we are going to say new i'll change from service console to a different one let's go over to sales because i don't like the view of this one sales here and uh, then we will go over to the recommendation object and we'll create our recommendation so here click new so the first thing it's asking what is the name of the recommendation we can say can we uh, send gift basket okay now what is the description so we are going to say can we send you a gift basket for the holidays okay that is the description if you want to upload an image we can upload an image here i already have a basket image that i'm going to use so this is the gift basket image that i have and this image will appear as well in the recommendation section and then what is the label for acceptance so that is basically the yes and no remember we have these buttons here where which says yes please and no thanks so the same recommend these are the buttons we'll say yes please and then here the rejection label is no thanks okay this is the rejection label and this is the yes please this is a recommendation we are creating now what is the action we need to do when the recommendation is accepted so next to the acceptance label you have an action right so action is nothing but that gift basket that flow that we just created that is the action we need to take we need to ask the recipient for the information and then we need to send an email so this is the action here hit the save and we have created our recommendation also now in the next tutorial we are going to do the remaining two steps here which is these ones create a recommendation strategy flow and then we will add the next best action component onto our account page so i'll see you then thank you very much